العلم أشراف مطلب وطالبه لله أكرام من يمشي على قادم العلم نور مبين يستضيء به أهل السعادات والجهال في الظلم استغفره ونعوذ بالله من شر أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله طيب Last week we started on what? Kitab what? Kitab al-Tahara. And we started on what? Aqsamul Miyat. Tayyip. In summary, Aqsamul Miyat that the Mu'allif, rahimahullah, or the author is going to talk about, and he's already talked about, are of three types. So Miyat, Aqsamul Miyat. Water that we could possibly use for Tahara is one of three types with regards to using it for Tahara. Qismun, which is called Ma'un Tahur, Water, which is called the Ma'un Tahur. The hukum of it is what? The ruling of it is that we can make wudu with it. We can purify ourselves with it. That's the hukum, that's the ruling. Okay? And that water is the water that can be called water. It remains how it was. How it came down from the sky, how it, is, how it remained in the pond, in the sea, whatever it might be. That part or that qism is called what? Tahur. Qismun Tahur. However, the Shaykh Rahimahullah is going to divide or has divided already, we've studied it, into two. Divided Tahur into two. Makru, that which is disliked and that which is not disliked. So it is Tahur, lakin it is disliked. What does it mean if it is disliked? Meaning if we have an option of something else, other water, if we've got other water, then it's best to leave it off. However, if we only have that water, which is makro, then we use it. طيب. So that is makro and غير makro. Then, today we're going to start on, after a while inshallah, we're going to start on tahir, which is the second type. That second type, the hukum of it is that we can drink it, we can remove filth or dirt from our clothing, However, we cannot make wudu with it or ghusl with it. That is the hukum. The ruling of tahir, as we shall see, is water that is pure, like we cannot make wudu with it or ghusl with it. Like we can drink it and we can cook with it and we can clean our clothes with it. So, then the third type is najis. Water that is what? Impure. Water that is impure. And if it is impure, what? Pass me the verb please. If it is impure, what does that mean? Najis? What is the hukum? We can't use it for what? For your purification, for eating, for cleaning our clothes. Is that understood? Mm-hmm. Lakin, there's another opinion according to the fuqaha, and al ma is what? Of two types. Tahurun and Najis. Tahurun and Najis. So we've saying that water is of two types, Tahur and Najis. We've taken out of the equation what? Makro and Tahir. Is that understood? So keep that in mind, inshallah. What is Hadith? ما معنى حدث؟ Excellent. وصف قائم بالبدن يمنع من الصلاة ونحوها مما يشتغل له الصلاة. طيب. مما يشتغل له وضوء. I.e. for example what? Who can give me an example of a حدث؟ لحظة. جنابة. طيب. حدث is of how many types? Two. What are they? Uh, Asghar and Akbar. Taib. Then the Sheikh says, Rahimahullah, what is Tahara lakin? Look, look, don't look at the book. What is Tahara? Iktifa'u al-Hadath wa ma fi ma'nahu ma wa ma fi ma'nahu wa zawal al-Khabat. Raf'u al-Hadath we've already understood. It is of two types and that is what? Akbar wa Asghar. Second type is what? Wa ma fi ma'nahu. What comes under ma fi ma'nahu? Tajdeedul wudu. Excellent. Tajdeedul wudu. Renewing your wudu. Why is it? Huh? 
لحظة before the example جزاك الله خير تجديد الوضوء why is it not called رفع الحدث but he says it is وما في معنى it is the same it is has the same sort of connotation why أحسنت you're not in a state of حدث when you're making your wudu again, when you're already on wudu, you're not removing any feel from yourself. Nor are you removing hadith. So it is in the meaning. Abdul Karim, another one. Now, when you wash your hands in the morning, you're purifying yourself. Sah? That is tahara. However, have you removed hadith? No. La. The third one is what? Ghusl Jum'ah. And what comes under Ghusl Jum'ah as well? Eid. Naam. Why? Because according to the Hanabila, that, that is a sunnah. According to the majority of scholars, it is a sunnah. So you're not removing a hadith. Type. The third one is what? The third thing of Tahara? Zawal al khabath What comes under Zawal al khabath Huh? Removing Najasa. Sah. Removing Najasa. Type. Next question. What is the difference between Raf al hadath Because he said Tahara is of three types. What is the difference between Raf al hadath removing hadath, and Zawal al khabath Someone who has an answer. Salman. Samahni? Excellent. Ahsand. Raf al hadath مثلا الآن, if a person says it's raining, and I'm going to go outside, it's pouring down, and I'm going to uh, have a shower outside. Just for the sake of it, enjoying the rain. And then two hours later, he remembers he was actually on Janaba. Can he say two hours ago I was under the rain? La. Why? Because he did not have the niyyah. However, if there's a najasa on your hijab, مثلاً, najasa on your hijab, and you leave it outside because you did not want the house to stink, to smell of that uh, odor, you leave it outside. It pours down with rain, and then a few hours later you find that it's clean. Are we going to say that that is not acceptable? You can't pray in that? No. Why? Because that is from the Muturukat. Ahsant. It, the most important thing with Najasa is that there's no Najasa. Khalas. Any other differences? Ahsant. Excellent. Excellent. Jazakallah khair. As Sheikh Muhammad said as well. The najasa is from the maturukat. You're told to leave off najasa, you're told to remove najasa. But hadith, removing hadith, i.e. making wudu, is from the what? Commandments. You've been commanded to do that. And we benefit from that, that if you're praying salah and you realize that you prayed dhuhr today without wudu, would you say, Qadr Allah ma shafa'al? La. You make wudu and you pray again. Like in today's dhuhr, you realize that you, the thawb that you prayed of was naj- najis, what do you do? Khalas, you don't do anything. You don't need to make it up. طيب. The Sheikh says, Rahimahullah, Tahuhun la yagfa'u al-hadath. When he said that, Al-Qsamu, Al-Miyat al-Thalatha, sah? Al-Miyat al-Thalatha. I want you to write something that I forgot to mention last week. Where he says, Al-Miyat al-Thalatha, Khilaf, you often hear that there's difference of opinion, sah? Khilaf. Khilaf is of two types. From one angle. Khilaf is of two types. Khilaf ma'nawi. Khilaf that is ma'nawi. Khilaf that is ma'nawi. And the second is khilaf that is lafzi. Lafzi. Khilaf lafzi. طيب الآن pay attention خلاف معنوي is when you come across a difference of opinion with regards to the fuqaha they have a difference of opinion and that difference of opinion carries different rulings that difference of opinion it carries different rulings طيب let me start with the first second one first the second one was what خلاف لفظي طيب خلاف لفظي and I will give you an example خلاف لفظي 
is the khilaf that is only in the wording that we use. Only in the wording that we use. For example, I say now, I say, مثلاً, <coughs> Salman called the adhan. And another says, Ya Abdul Karim called the adhan. Taib. Is there not a difference of opinion between me and the other person? Like in that difference of opinion doesn't matter. All we need is someone to what? Call the adhan. Whether it's Ali, Fulan, whatever, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that we get someone to call the adhan. Although there's a difference of opinion over who's going to call the adhan, like in what we need is the adhan done. However, the first type is khilaf ma'nawi. It is khilaf that is tangible. It actually makes a difference. And the example here is, some scholars say water is of how many types? Some say it's three types, which the book we're studying. Some say it is of what? Two types. That difference of opinion, it is ma'na, it is not only difference in the wording. It is actually a real existing khilaf that has its fruits. Is that understood? So khilaf is of these two. The shaykh says, rahimahullah, tahurun, the first type is tahurun. لا يرفع الحدث ولا يزيل النجسة الطارئة. What does he mean by الطارئة? It does not remove the نجس الطارئ. نعم. الحكم. So نجاسة is of how many types? Two. What are they? عينية وحكمية. نجاسة عينية is when the actual thing is نجس. It, it in of itself is نجس. I.e. what? Urine, for example. Urine. Urine, you can't purify urine. Akramakumullah. Swine, you cannot purify. Whether you get the ocean's amount of water and try to purify it, khalas, it is what it is. The second type is najasa hukmiya. It is najis in its ruling only. For example, you've got a thobe and there's a bit of najasa on your thobe. You can easily clean your thobe. That is what is meant by a najis al tari. It is that najasa that comes about. It wasn't already najis. طيب. Where the Sheikh says Rahimahullah on the Matan وهو الباقع على خلقته That is the definition of ما طهور It is that water that remains in its original form Whether it's been come, it is from the sky Whether you find it in a pond, in a lake, whatever it might be طيب. طيب. When the Sheikh says Rahimahullah The last masala we took وَإِنْ اسْتُعْمِلَ فِي طَهَارَةٍ مُسْتَحَبَّةٍ and if it is used, if the water is used, في طهارة مستحبة, in a purification or for a purification that is recommended, كتجديد وضوء وغسل جمعة وغسل ثالثة What does this mean? كره, it is disliked. What does it mean? Who can explain this part of the book? It's important that you know how to explain the book because you're going to explain it tomorrow to students. فضل سمعي. طيب, like سورة المسألة و... Mm. Mm. They do tahara for a wudu that is mustahab, for example, renewing your wudu or ghusl or something. طيب. The last message before we go to salah, I want you to write aqsamul ma al mustamal, aqsamul ma al mustamal, types of water that has been used, types of water that has been used. The first is مَا كَانَ عَنْ طَهَارَةٍ وَاجِبَةٍ مَا كَانَ عَنْ طَهَارَةٍ وَاجِبَةٍ Water that has been used for a wudu or a ghusl that is wajib. Water that is remaining after a ghusl or a wudu that is wajib. For example... I wake up in the morning, I go to the bathroom and I make wudu. I need to make wudu sah, before I pray. I make wudu. The water that is left in the sink, obviously I've blocked the sink. The water that is left in that sink is this type. Water that has been used for what? The haga that is wajib. For this, leave it now, 
Leave it for now and remind, and remind me or I will remind you in about 18 minutes or so. Understood? Come over to the second one. مَا كَانَ أَنْ طَهَارَةِ الْمُسْتَحَبَّةِ مَا كَانَ أَنْ طَهَارَةِ الْمُسْتَحَبَّةِ The water that is left in the sink that has been blocked after a person renews their wudu. Renews their wudu. Not makes their wudu. Renews their wudu. So the water that is remaining, that is left in the sink that I've used. Pay attention here. The water I'm talking about is not the water that I keep using. It's a, a bucket, not the water in the bucket. al mustamal is the water that is left over from my limbs, from the limbs of the person that is making wudu. Is that understood? So al mustamal let's say, مثلا, you wake up in the morning, you go to the bathroom, you get a big jug, run it under the tap. Or run the tap, and then you've got the jug that is filled up with water. You put it here to make water from it. This water that you use, it's not ma' al mustamal. This is ma' that is what? Brand new. Ma' al mustamal is the one that comes off your body, whether it's ghusl or whether it is wudu. Is that understood? So that second type of wudu that you've only gone to renew. Whether it's Jum'ah or Eid And it's left in the sink That is from Tahara that is wajib Or Tahara that is mustahab Mustahab That is the type that the Sheikh is saying Is disliked to use That is the type That the Sheikh says Kuriha وَإِنْ اسْتُعْمِلَ فِي تَهَارَةٍ مُسْتَحَبَّةٍ And so on and so on At the end Kuriha That is the hukum It is disliked And the third type, مَا كَانَ عَنْ غَيْرِ طَهَارَةٍ شَرْعِيَّةٍ مَا كَانَ عَنْ طَهَارَةٍ غَيْرِ شَرْعِيَّةٍ مَا كَانَ عَنْ طَهَارَةٍ غَيْرِ شَرْعِيَّةٍ It is the water that is left over, like you haven't made wudu on, or ghusl on. Surah Al-Mas'ala, for example, you come home after a hot day. You just want to take a shower. Forget wudu, ghusl, nothing. Khalas, you're okay. You just want to cool down. You go into the bathroom, into the bath. You block the, the shower, the, 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 the tub, the bathtub, and you switch on the shower. You wash yourself, wash yourself. Leave shampoos and all that out of the way because it might take it out. Of, there's foam in there. Like in, you just wash yourself with plain water. The water that is left underneath, that is left over from your cooling down, shower, cooling down shower, where would you class that? Tahara wajib or tahara mustahabba? Huh? I just gave you a mithal. I came in after a hot day, I had a shower. The third one, yeah. That third one, what hukum would you give it? What ruling would you Would you say it is haram to use or makruh to use? Huh? <coughs> طيب, the one that was lift that you used for a tahara that was mustahab was what? <coughs> Makur. So this one is what? <coughs> like logically speaking, you would think it would be makru or worse. <coughs> makru or worse. Like it is not makru, nor is it worse. Like it is what? Permissible. It is permissible. <coughs> It stays in exactly the same. It, when you look down, what is it? Water. Leave the shampoo, no shower, no shampoo, nothing. Huh? Exactly. That's one of the reasons why the scholars say that water is, not, is of two types. Regardless whether it's been used for a tahara that is wajib. Or a tahara that is mustahab, or a daha, or not even, or just a tahara, that, like in, not for wudu or ghusl. Water is water, they say. Logically speaking, this one should have had a worse hukum, or a stricter hukum than the what? Than the tahara that was mustahab. 
in the Dahara, that was Mustahab Tayyib. So that was Muraja'ah, inshallah, we're going to pray and then we're going to start with Wada Balag al Ma'u Qulla Tayni Ba'd al Salah, Wallahu Anna. Allah Rahman Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen U Salat wa Salam ala Ashraf al Ambiya wal Musaleen Amma Bad. Bye. Inshallah so it's So we'll carry on from where we left off last week and today hopefully we'll finish uh, the chapter of water, Babul Miya. The Shaykh says Rahimahullah wa in balaga kulataini wahuwal kathiru. Can everyone see it? Can everyone see what either what in Balaka Kulataini? Could could the sisters please pass over some chairs? The Sheikh says, Rahimahullah, wa in Balaga Kulatani, wa huwa Kathir, wa huma Hamsumi at Rot in Iraqi in Takariban, for Halatu, for Halatu Najasa to Nayu Bauli Adami, wa Adreti il Maiati, Falem to Rayu, or Halata Hul Baulu, or will Adera to Yashoku Nazhu, Kamasai, Masani, a Dariq in Mecca, Fatahurun, Fatahurun. The Sheikh Rahimahullah now is going to talk about a Mas'ala. That is called Mas'alatul Qullatayn Mas'alatul Qullatayn Qullatayn is referred to a certain amount of water Qullatayn in the books of the Fuqaha is used to refer to the threshold and the type of water in terms of size amount, in terms of amount So Qullatayn is a terminology in of itself that is used to determine what can be considered a lot of water and what can be considered the opposite, which is a small amount of water. So, qullatayn is the threshold. So, when they say, wa balaqa qullatayni, the difference between qullatayn is the difference between al ma'ul kathir wal ma'ul qalil. So, qullatayn, taqriban roughly, obviously he says 500 ratal of Iraqi, we don't obviously know what that is, lakin. Roughly about 200 litres Some of the scholars say 191 litres Some say 200 litres Some say 210 litres Like in around that Around that Probably almost three quarters of a bathtub A normal size bathtub That is referred to as Al-Qullatayn Al-Ma'ul Kathir So what he says now is If it reaches Qullatayn but now you already know what Qullatayn is. Qullatayn is just another word for 200 litres of water roughly, which is considered a lot of water. So the threshold and the difference between a lot of water and water that is not a lot is what? How many? 200 litres. That is called Qullatayn. Is that understood? The Shaykh Rahimahullah now, so first and foremost, you know what Qullatayn is. You know that it is the threshold. Anything below Qullatayn is considered what? Qalil. Anything that is above Qullatayn is considered? Excellent. So the Sheikh says, Rahimahullah, now that you know, Ya Talib al Ilm, now that you know what Qullatayn is, and that it is the had, it is the criterion between a lot of water and a small amount of water, he says, Fakhaladatun najasatun. And if, too high, if it reaches 200 litres In other words If there's a lot of water If there's a lot of water And a najasa touches it However I want you to understand That the najasa that he's going to talk about Is of two types Right The najasa that the sheikh talks about Is of two types The first is Najasa that comes out of the Adami. 
najasa that comes out of a person. Urine and number two. Is that not a najasa? Excellent. Put that to one side. The second type of najasa, I actually want you to put this as the first type. And the first type of najasa is every najasa other than the urine and the feces of a Bani Adam. So najasa is of how many types? Two. Two. What is the first type? Najasa Adamiya. I want you to put that as the second type. The first type is every type of najasa excluding the najasa of the Adami, the person. The second type of najasa is what? Hmm? Like when we're doing the numberings, let's get... The first type of najasa is every type of najasa excluding that which comes out of the, and the human being. That's the first type. I.e. what? Give me an, any najasa. Huh? You mean la? Leave khama. Pig saliva, dog saliva. Khalas everywhere. Sah najasa. That is one type. The second, or even animal, animal urine or anything. The second type of najasa is what? Type. The Shaykh is saying to you, Rahimahullah, فَخَالَدَةٌ نَجَاسَةٌ If that ma that is a lot. If there's a najasa that falls into it, it reaches 200 liters. It is a lot of water. And a najasa falls into it. Like in that najasa, is not from the Adamid. Yeah? فَلَمْ تُغَيِّرْهُ and it doesn't change it, and it doesn't change it, then that is what? Tahurun. Then that is Tahurun. Let's go again. Okay. Leave the Adami for now. No Adami, sir. Leave Bani Adam to one side. Any other Najasa. Water is of how many types? Two types. Water that is what? Water that is what? La la. Types of water in terms of amount, quantity. Al ma'ul qalil, al ma'ul kathir. Al ma'ul qalil, wal ma'ul kathir. Leave ma'ul qalil for now because he says to us if it reaches qullatain, i.e., what? If there is a lot of water. He's saying to us if there is a lot of water. And najasa goes into it. Mathalan, there's a lot of water and a dog drinks from it. Or a dog urinates into it. Akramakumullah. That is a lot of water that najasa has fallen into, right? Lakin he says, Walam tuqayyirhu or falam tuqayyirhu. Lakin it doesn't change it. That water is what? Tahur. So write down, if there's a lot of water, And the dog urinates in it or drinks from it, <coughs> and it doesn't change it, then it is tahur. It is tahur. Who's going to read that back? Someone read that back, Jafar. Like if the water is a lot, yeah, and a najasa comes into it, for example, a dog urinates into it. Like leave Adami now. Like leave. Uh, yeah, like don't even mention that. The dog's enough, and it doesn't change it. A dog urinates in a pond. And it does not change it, what? Ma'untahu. It is pure. Is that understood? Can you picture that masala? Tayyip. Another possibility is what? Think. Ghayyagatu. This najasa. Tayyip. Another masala. We have a lot of water. So that is number one, right? That you've just written down. Number two, write down. If there's a lot of water,
and 10 dogs urinate into that water, akamakumullah. And it changes it. Changes it meaning what? It changes it from clean to what? To najis. Then that water is najis. It is no longer tahur. Is that understood? What, who can read that second category back to me? If there's a lot of water and what? dogs urinate into it. Oh. Go on, say that again. If there's a lot of water. If there's a lot of water, and water and yani qullatain, it's past qullatain, and, <coughs> and many dogs urinate into it. Uh, and it changes the water. And it changes the water. The water is now najis. The water is now what? Najis. Najis. So? so we have a lot of water. That najasa falls into, but it hasn't changed it. That is what? Tahun. We have a lot of water that najasa falls into. That what? And it doesn't... Oh, it changes it, sorry. It changes it. That water is going to be what? Najis. That water is going to be najis. Tayyip. Thirdly, if we have a small amount of water, less than qullatain, Thirdly, if the water is less than qullataini, if the water is less than qullataini <coughs> and a najasa falls into it, and it changes it, Then that water is najis and cannot be used for for purification. What is the third scenario? We have water that is less than qullataini. You know that terminology by now, sah? It is less than qullataini. Mathalan, one bottle, two bottles, three bottles, two liters, whatever. And a najasa falls into it. A dog, akamakumullah, urinates into it, into the water. And it changes it. What is the rule in that water? Is tahur or najis? Najis. Ahsantum. How many scenarios do we have now? Three. Three. Okay. Four. The fourth scenario. Maudud, what could this possible scenario be, this fourth one? Considering the previous two, three. Huh? Naam, the water is qaleel, it's a small amount of water. And the najasa falls into it, but it does not change it. Allah, Isma, I don't want a hukum from you. I don't want a ruling from you. Najis wala najis bilash. I just want the type, the scenario. That he's just said it. <coughs> Water that is what? A little bit. Duna qullatain. Less than qullatain, sah? And the najasa has fallen into it, right? Has it changed it? No, it has not changed it. That water is najis. That water is najis. Again, we're studying the book, what is on the madhab. That water is what? Alhamdulillah. That water is najis, right? So we've got four scenarios, okay? And we're now dealing with the first type of najasat, which is all types of najasat apart from the najas of the human being. Right. These four scenarios. The first one was the horse, huh? Mad dalil. You can say, what is the dalil? What was the first one? A, a lot, Ismail, a lot of water. The first one? Excellent. A lot of water, Najasa falls into it, lacking it doesn't change it. Taib. That is Dahur. And that's Ijma'ah. That, that water, that is a lot. Why? Because they say the Prophet ﷺ, or they use the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ saying, the hadith, إِذَا بَلَغَ الْمَاءُ قُلَّتَيْنِ 
لم يحمل الخبث That is the hadith that they use Or that is the hadith that is the evidence for this masala If water reaches qullatayni لم يحمل الخبث It doesn't become dirty It does not become what? Dirty مثلا You have a notion of water a urine, a, a, An animal urinates into it Doesn't change it What we're going to say It's najis La. The second scenario Who's going to read the second scenario? So what is the first What is the evidence for that scenario? إذا بلغ الماء قلتين لم يحمل خبث The hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Hadith of Sa'id If water reaches two قلتين Meaning the threshold لم يحمل خبث يعني لا ينجس It doesn't become dirty The second scenario was what? It changes It changes طيب And the, so there's a najasa There's a lot of water But najasa falls into it And it changes it Then that water is najis And the evidence is the ijma' The evidence is the ijma' of Ahlul Ilm That there's consensus among the scholars That that water <coughs> That that water <coughs> Is now najis The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said إِنَّ الْمَاءَ الطَّهُورُ لَا يُنَجِسُهُ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا مَا غَيَّرَ لَوْنُهُ أَوْ طَعْمُهُ أَوْ غِيحُهُ That last part دَعْمُهُ أَوْ لَوْنُهُ أَوْ غِيحُهُ You should have studied in Bulugh Al-Maram, right? What is the authenticity of it? Who said da'if? Da'if, sahih. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they say the hadith is water is pure, nothing can change it unless what, except what changes its smell, its taste or its color. That part, as a hadith, it is not authentic. However, the evidence is in the ijma' of Ahlul Ilm. Ijma' the consensus of all of the scholars That if <coughs> Najasa falls into A lot of water And it changes it to Najasa Then that ruling Or that water we can no longer use it for purification It is considered ma'un Najis, water that is Najis So what is the dalil for the second scenario? Ijma' ahl al-ilm The second Third scenario what is, Someone read that uh, uh, Ibrahim read that the third scenario You have a small amount of water. Is it more than qullatayn or less than qullatayn? Less than qullatayn. And a najasa falls into this small amount of water? The hukum is that it is najis. What's the first scenario? And it changes it? Then the hukum is that it is what? Najis. The hukum is that it is najis. Why is it najis? Why, why do we say the hukum is najis? Huh? لا, أصلاً, it has changed What is it? It's a small amount of water that has been changed With najasa So what is it? Najis If we said a lot of water becomes najasa Najis because of najasa falling into it Then small amount of water is what? More befitting min bab awla Third scenario صح? طيب The third, the fourth scenario Abdullah Small amount of water Pay attention to this one A small amount of water <coughs> Najasa falls into this small, small amount of water We have a, five liters A gallon Five liters And someone throws Two spoonfuls of urine into it Five gallons Or five liters of water And someone throws what? Two spoonfuls of Don't ask me how they got two spoonfuls of urine. They put two spoonfuls of urine in there. Carry on. And it does not change. That small amount of najasa does not change that water, that small amount of water. What is the hukum? It is najis. Al al madhab, according to the madhab. You can say, what is the dalil? And the dalil is what? What did the Prophet say? If the water reaches قلتين, the threshold, let's say 200 liters, if it reaches that, listen to the words of the Prophet. It, you hear words from the Prophet. These words they point towards something. Like you understand something from it as well, the mafum of it. The Prophet said, if water is a lot, قلتين, it does not become najis. And it can defend itself. From the najasa, صح? 
طيب. What do you understand from this? If the water is less than two قلتين It what? يحمل It does not defend itself from the From the what? From the najasa So they say that is an evidence that a small amount of najasa If water najasa falls into that small amount Automatically becomes najis Just by falling into it If you've got five liters of water Or ten liters of water Right? And a small child urinates into it And it does not change anything from it Or even an adult urinates into it Like it's a small amount of urine And it doesn't change anything of it They say that is what? Nejis Why is it nejis? Simply because najasa has fallen into it And we know that if najasa falls into a lot of water The Prophet said It can protect itself Like we understand from that That the what? The small amount of water cannot what? <coughs> protect itself طيب. Is that understood? Any questions on that? نعم قياس قياس هنا إجماع But إجماع itself is that دليل No kidding <laughs> Nah, there's another method, but like you we're gonna go into that, inshallah. We're gonna go into that. طيب. Jazakallah khair. Like, don't say that. Say what we've just said, the four categories, because that is very general. If najasa falls into a lot of water and it changes it, it becomes what? The water becomes najis. If water falls into a small amount, if najis, najasa falls into a small amount of water, it becomes what? Even if it doesn't, change it. Taib. Four scenarios, sir. Taib. What are we going to do about the bowl adami? The bowl adami. So sorry. You know these four that we've described. What was the criterion? What were we always using as a mizan, as a criterion, to sift out? Huh? Qullatayn Whether it has reached Qullatayn or not Sah? Taib Now let's go back to the words of the Sheikh He says As for Bawlul Adami And the thesis of the Adami that is runny If it is not difficult to take it out If it is difficult to take it out Then it is not considered najis If there is Mathalan We have a lot of water Pay attention here. We have a lot of water. A Bani Adam urinates in it. Or uh, uh, does number two in it. Akamakumullah. We're not going to now look at is the water a lot? Is the water not a lot? What we're going to look at is Al Mashaqqa. Manatul Hukmi. Mashaqqa tu izalati al Najasa. Write down. Write down with regards to the urine and the feces of the Adami, whatever comes out of the Adami. <coughs> what is taken into consideration is whether it is easy to take it out, easy to remove it, or not. If it is easy to remove it, if it is easy to remove it, then it is not permissible to use. Even if it doesn't change it If it is easy to remove Then it is impermissible to use it Even if it does not change it (coughs) 
and then underline and then put another line back. However, if it is difficult to remove, if it is difficult to remove, then it is pure. It is tahur. If it is difficult to remove, then it is what? Pure. Pure. So for the Adamis, the Najasa of the Adami, <coughs> what was the criterion? What was the? al mashaqqa So what you can say, Taib, why do they make a distinction between the Najasa of the Adami and other types of Najasat? They say the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam la yabulan ahadukum fi al-ma'i da'imi alladhi la yajri thumma yaghtasilu minhu The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do not none of you should bowl in the ur- in the water that is still meaning the water that is not running that is in a pond or whatever it might be that doesn't run that one of you should not urinate it urinate in it and then make ghusl from it So they say the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prohibited People from urinating in water and then making ghusl from it. So this shows that the water is what? Najis. This shows that the water is najis. So that is the hadith that makes them distinguish between najas, all types of najasat and this type of najas of the adami. But the hadith says urine. Where does the number two of the adami come into it? In Babi Ola. It is even more befitting that it is a najasa. <clears throat> In summary, that is what the Shaykh Rahimahullah is mentioning now. That is that last mas'ala. And the reason why it's taken a lot is because the mas'ala of qullatayn is quite confusing. Lacking in summary, mas'ala al qullatayn. What is the had or what is the criterion for qullatayn? What is qullatayn? Two lead. Uh, <coughs> a lot of water is It is above qullatayn. Ma duna qullatayn. What is less than qullatayn is what? Considered qalil, a small amount of water. Now that you have that differentiation, the book that we're reading gives us four possible scenarios with regards to the najasa that is not to do with the adami. All other najasat. What are those four scenarios? <coughs> Najasa falls into water that is a lot and it doesn't change it, it is what? Tahur. The second scenario, Najasa falls into a lot of water and it what? Changes it. That water is what? Najas, Ijma'. No difference of opinion on that one. Tayyib. The third is what? Water that is a small amount of water, less than two qullatayn. And what? It changes it. What is the ruling on this? Najis. Obviously, min bab The number, The number four, fourthly, small amount of water that najasa falls into, that what? That doesn't change it. What is the ruling on this according to the madhab that we're studying? Najis. Why? Because they say with regards to the small amount of water, all we look at is the fact that Najasa has touched it. From the moment that Najasa touches it, then it is what? Impure. Why? What hadith do they use? <laughs> if water reaches qullatayn, meaning a lot of water, if there is a lot of water, then the Najasa, it protects itself from the Najasa. They say we understand from that that if the water is less than qullatayn, it cannot what? Protect itself, meaning it will be changed by this najasa. Is that understood? Like, the other type of najasa that is still to go is what? The Adami. Bani Adam, problemsome. Like, the Bani Adam, the only difference here is what? That his najasa... They don't look at whether the water is a lot or not. They look at if it's easy to take, remove or not. If it, e- if it is easy to remove, they say what? 
That, that is najis Because wood najasa has touched it Lakin if it is difficult to remove it What is the ruling on this? It is dahur Why? Because there's a qa'idah Al-mashakkatu Tajribu taysik Difficulty brings about ease Wal amr Ida taq al amr if, if, if it becomes If the, the affair becomes difficult It tasa'a Then it becomes In terms of hukum In terms of ruling Then it becomes uh, uh, Less Or loosened Ida taq al amr It tasa'a Right That distinction of the bowl al adami and the second, uh, the distinction between all types of najasa and the bowl al adami is the madhab of the mutaqaddimun. Remember, we said the scholars of Ahd Hanabila are of three types the mutaqaddimun, those that, yani the, 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 the first generation of Hanabila, this was their opinion. Like in the latter generation of the Hanabila, that the madhab is now known for. After about 800 After the Hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam They say khalas Ya akhi, all types of najasat are exactly the same We're not going to say Bawl Adami or not Bawl Adami and so on Sah? So they, the, the latter Hanabila They don't differentiate between The najasa of the Adami The Bani Adam and the other najasat And that is a bit easier, sah? Yeah. Easier to understand Hilm so he actually opposes the Hanabila of the Mut'akhirun Although he himself is a wa Is from the Mut'akhirun Lakin he opposes the Madhab Okay Has that all synced in? Bowl The Najasa yani? Yeah When you say bowl is an example Bowl Adami is intended It is not an example Literally urine He means urine so if he vomits in there, it's not included. If he vomits, it is, is included as any type of najasa. That's what you mean, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, um, yeah. La, la. Bowl, Adami, urine. Bani Adam, the urine of a Bani Adam, that is what makes it najis. And obviously the feces of Bani Adam. Just, the, the, just those two. Mentioned that there was difference between bowl and the other type of najasa. Is it because it's taken from Muqla or is it just because of the, the villa? No, because that's how the madhab is. That's how the madhab is. Well, it, if you go into another book, that's, it will be the same. How do they remove the condition of Qullatayn based on the second hadith mentioned? Because Ma'at Daim is that less than Qullatayn? With Ma'at they're not looking at whether it's qullatayn or not. They're saying that there's a specific hadith for it. The Prophet said, do not urinate in water that is that, meaning water that doesn't, it's not flowing. Just water that is in a box, in, 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 in a still place, whether it's a pond, a lake, sea, whatever, do not urinate in it. So they use this, the reason why they differentiate is because of the wording of the Prophet Wasallam. that specific hadith. Is that understood? And there's another opinion in this opinion on this mas'ala, on this specific mas'ala, and that opinion is that the ibrah and what is taken into consideration is whether the water has changed or not. We're not going to say there's a lot of water or a little bit of water, khalas. Whether it's a lot of water or whether it is a small amount of water. What we're going to look at is whether the najasa has changed the water from its asal. So we don't need these four scenarios. Is that understood? And we don't need to differentiate between the najasa of the Adami and the najasa of anyone else. Is that understood? So the Qawl al-Thani, which is also a riwayah and narration in the madhab of the Hanabila, the opinion of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Imam al-Sa'di as we studied, um, Ibn Uthaymin, a lot of the scholars They say water, ya ikhwan With regards to najasa We look at Has this najasa changed this water Or not If it has changed the water Then that water is called, considered what? Najis If it has not changed the water Then it is considered what? Tahur That's the second opinion huh? Huh? Regardless of Qullatayn Al-Qawl al-Thani, the second opinion, it doesn't look at 
uh, whether it's qullatayn or not. Sah? Tayyip. Is that understood? Their shtirat, their manat is, or what they take into consideration is, has the water changed, yes or no? If it has changed to najis, then you can't make it, make wudu with it, and it is ma'un najis. If it has not changed, then it is considered what? Ma'un tahur. Even the qalil. Taib, you can now question and say, Taib, you've disregarded the hadith of the qullatayn. So you can say to now, طيب, Ya Jama'a, you've totally disregarded Hadith al What was the point the Prophet Salah, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioning Qullatayn then? Can they say that? Of course they, of course they can say that. They can say that because we haven't taken that into consideration. We're saying whether it's a lot of water or a little bit of water, we're only looking at the Najasa. They'll turn around and say, طيب, you're disregarding the Hadith of the Prophet. Why, why did the Prophet mention Najasa then in that case? What are you going to answer with? We say, khalas, we're not going to disregard the hadith. Lakin, when the water is less than qullatayn, we're going to do ihtiyad. We're going to look at it and make sure that there's no najasa. And if we find that there's no najasa, then that water is clean. So we're going to use the, the hadith of less than qullatayn, and we're going to concentrate on the small amount of water, and we're going to see if it has changed or not. Whereas normally the water that is a lot, we're not even going to look at it, are we? Like in the water that is less than qullatayn, we're going to give it a second look and a third look to see whether or not it has what? Changed. Or we can also say, if we've got other water and we've got this qullatayn that the najasa has fallen into, then we're going to leave it alone. Then we're going to leave it alone and we're going to go to the water that there's no doubt in. Is that understood? The question from the sisters is, can you please give an example for the najasa of Adamiya falling into water and becoming removable or non-removable? From my understanding, it is also di- always difficult to remove urine. Mm, fell into water. Mm. Like, khalas, they're saying if it is easy to remove. For example, مثلا, you see someone urinating in the, bo- in the water. طيب? And then you push him and you say, Allah yahdik. And then you pick up the, the water that is near where he's urinated. You pick it up, put it yani, in a bucket, obviously. You can't pick it up your hand. You get it in a bucket and then you throw it all away. Have you not removed the najasa? You've removed the najasa. And number two is obviously even more understandable. Now, the Sheikh says, "Rahim Allah, like a masani in the Tariq in Mecca." Ah? Sahih. Like in you've you've removed, yani the traces of it. You've removed the traces of it, and. The whatever is left is going to mix with the other type of water, so there will be nothing left. And the Sheikh says, Kamasani al Dariq in Makkah, like the wells that were used in the Dariq of Makkah, meaning the Hujjaj, uh, there would be wells that would be dug for the people performing Hajj, and it would be on the way to Makkah for the Hujjaj. Now, in those wells, if someone done Najasa in there, it would be difficult to remove that Najasa. So, are we going to say, because last week we saw someone urinating in there, that water is going to be haram for you to use? La. طيب. The second opinion is what? العبرة بتغير الماء Write that down عند القول الثاني According to the second opinion العبرة بتغير الماء What is taken into consideration is The changing of the water If it changes to najasa, then it is najis. If it does not change, if it does not change, then it is tahir. The question is, does hayd come into bowl adami? La, it does not come into bowl adami. Like it, as for whether hayd is included in this hukum, Allah alam from all of those, yani, the, the, the scholars that have talked about this masala in all of the books, you won't, or I haven't come across any of them talking about hayd in this specific masala. They only say bowl. And why do they say bowl? Why have they distinguished bowl? Because of the hadith, لا يبول أن أحدكم في الماء دائما الذي لا يجري. Let not one of you bowl in the water that is still 
and then ثم يختسل منه. طيب. That is a good question. Then the Sheikh says, رحمه الله, ولا يرفع حدث رجل طهور يسير خلت به امرأة لطهارة كاملة عن حدث. طيب. This مسألة the feminists are going to have a go at. The Sheikh says, رحمه الله, ولا يرفع حدث. And the حدث. So where you see the matan, I want you to underline a few words. The Sheikh says, رحمه الله, ولا يرفع حدث. طيب ولا يرفع طيب حدث underline that يرفع حدث number one number two رجل number three طهور يسير water that is a small amount خلت به امرأة خلت به امرأة يعني a woman is alone with لطهارة كاملة underline that as well خلت به امرأة underline that and then لطهارة كاملة underline that And hadathin, and that pure, the tahara that she has done is from hadath, is from an يعني hadath, whether it's minor or major. طيب, now we're on ma'u tahur, sah? We're talking about ma'u tahur, so we talked about water that is what? Qullatayn and less than qullatayn. Now the sheikh is talking about water that a woman has used in, in private, to remove Najasa from herself, from Hadith, remove Hadith from herself. Surah Al Mas'ala, we have a woman, a mukallaf, an adult female, an adult female. She goes into the bathroom. She performs wudu. This woman performs wudu. In the bathroom, she blocks the sink so the water doesn't go down. So when she's making wudu, that water is going to be left in the wa, in the in, in the bathtub or in the sink. So she wakes up. Um Fulana wakes up, goes to the bathroom, makes complete wudu, and it's in the morning she wakes up, makes wudu. When she makes wudu, she Obviously, it blocked the sink. So all of the water that she's made wudu with gets left in the what? In the sink. The mas'ala we're talking about now is can her husband now come into this room, into the bathroom, after obviously she's left, and make wudu from that water? Is that understood? I don't want the hukum now. Is that understood? Like it? It's important. Al-hukum ala shay far'un an if you want to give a ruling to something, you need to be able to picture it first and foremost. That water that this woman, has, adult, has left behind after making wudu from it, can her husband make wudu from that water? Okay. Has everyone understood? If no one's understood, or whoever's not understood, just put your hand up, let me, and I'll explain it again. You haven't understood. Okay. Al-an, anta, ya Suleiman, you're at home, sah? Let's say you're at home. What is your kunya? Abu Abdullah. Um Abdullah wakes up. Tayyib, <laughs> may Allah make her into existence. <laughs> um Abdullah wakes up, sah? Ya Abdullah, uh, ya Suleiman, you're still awake, you're still asleep. Um Abdullah wakes up, goes to the bathroom, طيب, and she needs to make wudu because she needs to pray Salat al Fajr. When she was making wudu, the small tub, you know the, uh, the, 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 the one that you used to brush your teeth, that, that, that sink, small sink. She gets one of those things to block the water from going down, the drain. So that water is going to be what? Preserved. She starts to tap. Who starts to tap? Um Abdullah. She makes wudu for fajr. And khalas, she washes her feet, face, hair, everywhere. And the water is still in the sink. She goes out, 
Miskeen Abu Abdullah wakes up, Suleiman wakes up. He comes to the bathroom, he sees the water in what? In the sink. Can he make wudu from that water? Yes or no? Now it's a bit closer to home, you understand it now, huh? Tayyip. That's the mas'ala. Can Sulaiman now make wudu from that water? Understood? Tayyip. The Sheikh says, Wala yagfa'u hadath. The hadath of a person is not removed. Hadath a rajul. So a man, the first qaid or the first restriction is that it is a man. So he's saying a man cannot use that tahara. That water that is left in the sink, a man, wala yagfa'u hadatha rajulin. So he can't make wudu on it, nor can he make what? Ghusl, ahsantum. Tahurun yasir, if the water is a little bit. If the water that she made ghusl with or, or, or wudu with is a small amount of water. Is that understood? It's a small amount of water. Khalat bihi imra'atun. That she was secluded with it. She was in the bathroom, she locked the door. There's no one in there, sah? Only herself. There's no one else in there. What does this exclude? If there was a person in there with her. If there was another child in there with her, that is not Mumayyiz. Eight, nine-year-old child, مثلا, in there. It doesn't come under this. And if Abu Abdullah was also in the bathroom, cleaning something, then also it wouldn't come under this mas'ala. What is the restriction? What is the condition? She must be in there alone. خَلَتْ بِهِ مُرَأَتُونَ Understood? لِطَهَارَةٍ كَامِلَةٍ لِطَهَارَةٍ كَامِلَةٍ she has to purify herself completely. She has to purify herself completely. Mathalan, she starts to make wudu. She washed her mouth, face, and the right hand. And the right hand. And then she hears the fire alarm. She rushes out of the room, the bathroom. Khalas. Huh? Naam. There's no dahara kamila. That water that is left in there after she's washed her face and hands, he can make wudu. Because now, it wasn't complete. She hasn't finished her wudu, has she? She had to go off to the fire alarm or the, whoever was shouting from the kids. Khalas. So that is the meaning of tahagatin kamila. It has to be a pure... She has to finish her wudu or her ghusl. And hadathin. Like in that tahara that she has made, it has to be from hadath. It can't be what? Mustahab ahsantum. Tajdeed al wudu. And that's why I said she woke up in the morning. And she was asleep. So her wudu, her wudu is what? Broken. So she wakes up. So it has to be from what? Hadith. The Sheikh says that wudu, that water, she cannot make, or a man cannot make wudu in it. Can a woman make wudu in it? No. A woman can make wudu. What about a small child? Naam, a small child can also make wudu in it. And they use as an evidence the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa They say, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam naha an yatawadda a rajlu bi fadli tahur al mar'a. Naha, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prohibited that a man makes wudu from the remains of a woman, the remaining water of a tahur from a woman making wudu. The water, water that the woman has made wudu, the Prophet ﷺ prohibited making ghusl from it. That is the madhab, that is the opinion here. Is that understood? Al Qawl al Thani, the second opinion is that it is not taken into consideration. This mas'ala is non existent to them. They say whether a woman has gone in there, made ghusl or, or wudu on her own, and she's in there on her own, from hadath, khalas. As long as the water is clean, then the water is clean. He can make wudu in it, so can everyone else. Is that understood? And they use this hadith as evidence, many a hadith, from them that the Prophet ﷺ himself used to have wudu with the wives of the... Of, perform ghusl with his wives. Also another hadith, he came وسلم, and his wife made wudu or made ghusl from water in a tub. When he tried to make ghusl from it and try to purify himself with it his wife radiyallahu anha said 
كنت جنوبا I was in Janaba and he said صلى الله عليه وسلم الماء لا يجنب water does not become dirty يعني جنابا another hadith hadith عبد الله بن عباس ميمونة the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم made wudu and ghusl from the wudu left over of ميمونة who was the wife of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم so that is the second opinion is that مسألة we've been done with طيب مباغة Say that again. So that one that you've mentioned, it's still within this masala. Because we said a woman can come and what? Use it. But the man cannot use it. Like in this is excluded because of a specific dalil. And that dalil is what? That the Prophet said. And the hadith is weak, by the way. The hadith. The scholars of hadith say that this hadith is weak Where the Prophet prohibited the man from making ghusl with the leftovers of a woman Or wudu' from, wudu' from the leftovers of a woman So it's a masala that is khasa Can a man make wudu' from a man musta'mal? We have to look at what is the musta'mal min mada Musta'mal from what? If it was used to rough al hadith, la, and we're going to see that in a minute. Well done. Yani al khalwa. Because, wallahu a'lam, they say that the other ahadith. Where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam made wudu with his wives, they use it to justify. They say, yes, this was permissible because the Prophet was with his wife. Ma khalat bihi, she did not use it on her own. Sah. So it's almost as if they he's replying to an a question that is going to be asked. So someone is going to say to him, Ya Hajjawi, طيب, we have the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam making wudu with his wives. So he's saying to you, خالت به مرأة هذه مو خلوة It is not خلوة أحسنت جزاك الله خير موجود نعم Because they want to now combine between these ahadith So some say, لا, listen The Prophet prohibited And then you come around and say, لا, the Prophet made wudu And we say, صحيح, he made wudu Lakin to do jam Then we're restricting the quyud We're restricting when it is not permissible It is only when she is alone with it She's the only one in that room. Khalwa, they use two meanings. Khalwa to nikah, khalwa to infirad. Lakin, leave that for now. Khalwa, when there's nikah and so on, lakin, leave that for now. Lakin, the stronger opinion is that it is permissible to what? To make ghusl with. Understood? Khalas. The next mas'ala. So now we've left off Ma'un Tahur. We've finished Ma'un Tahur. We're now going into Ma'un Tahir. Ma'un Tahir. The Shaykh says, Rahimahullah, Rahmatun Wasa. First and foremost, Ma'un Tahir, the hukum of it is you can eat with it, you can drink from it, you can cook with it, however, you cannot make purification with it, you cannot purify yourself with it from wudu. Is that understood? Ma'un Tahir is what? The water, in terms of the hukum, it is that water that. You cannot make wudu or ghusl from, but you can drink and you can eat from. طيب. The Sheikh says, وَإِن تَغَيَّرَ طَعْمُهُ أَوْ لَوْنُهُ أَوْ غِيحُهُ بِالْطَبْخٍ أَوْ سَاقِطٍ فِيهِ Number one, وَإِن تَغَيَّرَ طَعْمُهُ أَوْ لَوْنُهُ أَوْ غِيحُهُ Put number one on top of all of that. If its taste changes or its color or its smell changes. On top of those three, write, write number one. If the color, the smell, or the taste changes, right? Bidabkhin, because of it being cooked. Because of it being cooked. Awsaqidin fihi, or due to something falling into it. Taib. Surah al-Mas'ala. 
you're cooking, you get water. Obviously, when you're cooking, you need what? <coughs> water, whatever it is that you're cooking. Like in a, a, a pan full of water. Then you get meat into it. Or anything else. A tea bag or anything else like that. If you put a tea bag into this mat that is in the pan and it boils up, what the colour does it become? Brownish. What about if you put meat in there? It starts to turn into marak, sah soups, kind of. Right. Or due to something that has fallen into it. Call it a tea bag, for example. Or saqidin fihi. Right. And obviously it's difficult to remove. Or rufi'a bi qalilihi hadathun. Put number two on top of that. Or rufi'a bi qalilihi hadath. And I think your one or some of the books are numbered with alif, ba, and so on, which makes it easier. Like it says, Put number two on top of that. What, is the, what does this mean? It means we have water. We have water. Pay attention. Mubarak, this is the masala we were talking about. We have water here that is not a lot. It is qalil. Qalil meaning it is what? Duna qullatayn. Less than qullatayn. We have water in a bathtub, small, like a small sink. And someone made wudu in there. Made wudu from it. Rufi'a bih qalilihi hadath. That water that is left in the, in the sink, that is now called what? Ma'un musta'mal li taharatin. You should say wajiba automatically. Remember before the salah, I was, we split it into three types. This water that you're using to remove your hadith. You woke up in the morning and you make wudu from a small amount of water. The water that is left there, it is tahir and not what? Tahur. Tahir meaning what? You cannot make wudu from it. You cannot make wudu from it. Taib. وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي